Concerned for his marriage, Tom comes to Cheaters for professional help in quelling his unease. I'm Clark Gable, and this is Cheaters. Uh, the reason I fell in love with Mary was she was very uh, outgoing, spontaneous, um, always ready to do anything at any time, you know, just drop of the hat. Loved it about her. As time went on, you know, it just started, uh, started going downhill a little bit, you know. Just started noticing certain things about her that, that are changing. Um, she started doing prescription drugs. Um, kids have gone. I'm hardly ever at home because I'm working 24-7. Um, so I'm thinking she's taking these pills to, to help with the anxieties of, of just no one being there at the house anymore. Mary Bickle, age 41. A housewife suspected of tipping inappropriate considerations to the pizza boy. After a briefing at headquarters, Cheaters Intelligence dispatches a team of detectives to the Bickle home. After a long, hungry wait, a pizza delivery man pulls up to the house. Nothing out of the ordinary occurs until the unknown male enters the Bickle home. Or sometimes I'll, I'll call just to uh, check with her, say, hey, you know, I'm on a break. And get a little time, um, you want to go eat lunch? And she'll say, you know, I just ordered a pizza or um, just taking my pills. I'm a little tired right now. And just, uh, just making a lot of excuses for me not to come to the house. She's ordering pizzas, you know, two, three, four times a week. And um, I've noticed on the credit card bills that she's, she's, tipping like almost the same price as the pizza and I think that's kind of strange and that's why I'm having these feelings that something's not right with with ordering these pizzas I have kids that I have to put through college and and, and support our household and um, she's just throwing money away like it's like it's nothing the wait takes much too long for a simple pizza transaction also, strangely, Mrs. Bickle follows the unknown delivery man out to his car. She gives the mysterious man a deep hug farewell. Cheaters agents realize the game is afoot as the two partners in crime go their separate ways. The dishonesty in our relationship just kind of drives us further apart, but I still love my wife and I want to make it work. I'm, I'm hoping she's not doing anything so bad that it's going to tear our relationship completely apart. If she's found cheating, then yes, it's it's completely over. Um, I, I won't stay with somebody that's going to cheat on me, especially if I'm out there trying to make a living and, and, and keep my family together. But I can't stay with somebody that's going to cheat on me. I, I just wouldn't have any trust for her, and all relationships are built on trust. Over the next few days, Cheaters operators stick to the stakeout like cheese to a pizza. This afternoon, the suspect leaves her home around lunchtime. Blithely unaware of her cheater's shadow, Mrs. Bickle arrives at a nearby sandwich shop. She then returns to her vehicle with takeout in hand and toodles on down the road. Oddly enough, the suspect stops off at a pizza delivery store. The man seen previously, now identified only as Ryan, leaves the shop with the suspect. Mrs. Bickle drives her lunch date to a neighboring park. The pair get out and search for an isolated park bench and table to enjoy their sumptuous meal. Cheaters investigators note the affectionate way that Mary holds hands with her paramour. Sometime later, the suspect and her companion leave the bench, stopping only to kiss before getting into the SUV. Bickle then drives her bow back to the pizza shop. Ryan kisses Mary one last time and goes back to work. The suspect drives back to the house before her loving husband comes home from work. With information that Tom works a double shift, Cheaters agents wait on the Bickle homestead. Not surprisingly, Ryan shows up. The delivery driver, interestingly without a pizza, approaches and knocks on the front door. Clad in a short robe, Mrs. Bickle admits her lover. 
An interior camera placed earlier by Tom reveals the sordid details of the affair. As Ryan sits on the couch, Mary Bickle gets on her knees. The suspect and her illicit boyfriend begin to play around. Ryan greedily removes Mrs. Bickle's bra. The suspect switches places with her Romeo as activities begin to heat up. The secret eye captures all evidence of the clandestine event. After a rather short amount of carnal intimacy, Ryan finishes. Wearing almost nothing, Mrs. Bickle wantonly escorts her other significant to the door. The suspect gives her sweetheart a quick kiss adieu and then shuts the door. As Ryan speeds away, Cheaters begins to prep the case facts for a troubled Tom. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that the investigators have the goods on the suspect, Cheaters contacts Tom for a briefing on his wife's ulterior activities. Troubled by the possibility of losing his spouse, Tom mans up and views the truth. First thing I'd like to say, Tom, is, you know, I understand we had to pull you directly from work. Couldn't even get outside to even talk to you because we're kind of in a hurry right now, so I'll just get right into it. So, Tom, I just want to warn you before I show you this that, you know, you may find some of these things upsetting that you're about to see, but it's all to get you the truth and ultimately the answers that you've requested. Okay. We begin our investigation outside of your residence. As our detectives observe, a pizza man arrives. We see him walk up to the front door, knocks on the door. That's when we see Mary greet him. He walks inside with the pizza. A short time later, we see an empty bag. She walks him out to his vehicle, and she gives him a hug goodbye. A little strange to you? Yeah, that's real strange to me. Have you ever seen this guy? Has he ever delivered to the house while you've been there? No, sir. No, okay. After hugging her, the pizza guy leaves your house and she goes back inside. All right, Tom, on this day of our investigation, we're outside of your residence. A few moments later, hey, you see that same again. gentleman yeah. pull up, runs to the door. That's when we see Mary greet him and he walks inside. You recall that surveillance equipment I gave to you? I yeah. told you to put it somewhere in your house. Yeah. This next shot is gonna be where you put that camera. Internal surveillance inside the house shows Mary in a robe taking off. Oh my God, on my clothes. couch. Yes, dressed in lingerie. She then sits this man down on the couch. He begins to take off her bra. Oh my God. As time passes, things get a little bit more extreme. That's when we see them engage oh in God. sexual intercourse on your couch. During this time, Tom, she receives a phone call. What you're about to hear is the audio from that conversation. Tell me if you can remember this day, let alone this conversation. Hello? Hey, what are you doing? Nothing, same thing I always do, just hanging out at the house. Uh, do you mind cooking dinner tonight? You want me to cook again? Again? I mean, we ate pizza the other night. Hello? You always make me cook. Maybe we can do something this weekend or something. Hello? Yes? What are you doing? I'm just I'm sitting here watching TV doing nothing. I'll, I'll cook you something to eat. Wait, can I make you oh, well, uh, Thank you very much, honey. All right, I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah, love you too. Bye. Yeah, I remember that phone call. So was, while she's on the phone with you, where were you at that point in time? I was actually working, driving down the road. So while you're driving down the road working, she has her face in this gentleman's lap while she's on the phone with you. After finishing up the phone call and the sexual intercourse, she then opens the door. This gentleman leaves. I mean, she's very exposed right there. She's very just standing exposed, there. Right in the front. Right, right in the front of your house. He runs out to his car quickly, gets in, speeds off. I mean, it looks like that 30 minutes or less thing may have been yeah, going on. Yeah, late for another damn delivery. The reason why we picked you up so fast is because that same delivery man is at your home right now. Right now. We are on the way to your house. Right when we get there, we're gonna go straight out, straight to the house, and we're gonna bust him in the act. Okay. My question for you is, are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. There's you know the lay of your land? That son of a bitch is at my house right now. Oh, there's his car. All right, everybody out. Hey, 
Mary, let him go, let him go. Mary, why are all your clothes off? Um, it's, it's nothing. It's not. I'm clear. Get the show cheap. Basically, your husband hired us because he thought you were cheating on him and. He hired you? Yes. Get over here. So what's going on? How did this happen exactly? Um, how did it happen? It's it's nothing. It's just he was bringing pizza over. So why are you naked? Do you know my wife was married? Do you know she was married? Uh, huh? Yeah, I had a suspicion. And you over here with my wife? You was doing it, I wouldn't have. <sighs> what the f dude? <laughs> Coming up, the conclusion. What the f what the f is this? It's nothing. It's just he was bringing pizza over. So why are you naked? Do you want, do you want to see what's going on out here? Why don't we step out here? It's, you got you got pizza right there. You have got multiple boxes of pizza. Your husband's what the hell, right Mary? It's not, it's not, what do you mean it's nothing? You're over here having sex with some dude in my house. No, it, no, no. We, it, what do you mean, no? You were butt naked over here in my house. We didn't get With this one. man. What's your name? My name's Ryan. Ryan, I'm Clark Gable with the show Cheaters. The reason why we're here is because her husband actually hired us because he was actually suspicious that she was on him. How long has this been going on? It, it's not, it's not, it's not. What do you mean it's not? How can it not be? You're sitting over here on the floor him naked. It's, he just came over and, and you know, it just kind of happened this one time. It was only once. Really? Yeah. Another lie. It, it was only once. We have evidence. So she didn't tell you at any point in time that she actually had a husband? She had a husband, but I wasn't that worried about it. You weren't that worried about it? To be honest with you. You never give me anything. What's this? Pizza? You like this pizza? Yes. Why don't you have some more pizza? Are you yeah, pizza. I'm serious. You have pizza. You can have Take pizza. Take that pizza. pizza. How about some cake? Some cake too? What the f he's been over here watching my damn TV? Huh? Oh God, I'm so sorry. This, I didn't mean for this to happen. What do you mean you didn't mean for this to happen? You're over here f***ing this guy in my house. So how do you feel seeing her husband walk into the house and and uh, catch you. He needs to go get some anger management. He's throwing me around like a rag doll. What if you were standing in his position? You walked in on your wife doing this. I'm sure you'd go Rick or too. And you're still in your. No, I think myself. I, I just wave bye bye. What are you doing in my house, man? Mary, can I talk to you for a minute? So, do you have anything to say to your husband? I'm sorry. I didn't. Sorry? He's got video of you. I know. Me. I, I didn't I didn't mean for this to happen. I didn't want to hurt you, but I, w I was lonely. Well, what the f do you think this is going to do to our kids? I don't know. I wasn't thinking about the kids. Yeah, you weren't thinking about nothing but your own pleasure. He never wants to listen. He just goes to work and comes home and goes back to work. It's, there's never anything going on. Please. Everything that you wear, the house, the cars. Anything. You won't even take me out. It's like you, you don't want to be with me. You got to understand that he works a very sporadic schedule. And for us, especially with a delivery Here's man. Here's some of your damn a clothes. A pizza delivery hey. man. Why did you put my clothes You destroyed our lives. I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to? What do you mean you don't mean to? You're in here having sex in the living room of our house. Oh, God. My clothes are hurting. Don't. I gotta, I gotta. What do you want to do this at this point in time? He said that he had an idea that you that you were her husband, but she never really said anything past that. Am I am I wrong or am I right? What did she say to you exactly? Well, it doesn't take a scientist to figure some things out. Yeah, I knew she was married. And yet you're still over here messing with a married woman. Yeah. You go for a damn was pizza man, it? a pizza delivery man. What the hell? You think when your work sees you in uniform doing this, 30 minutes or less thing, you know, bringing over cheese pizzas? Giving her the, your own sausage? I mean, that's ridiculous, dude. Yeah, I know. That's a really good way to show the brand. You want some pizza here? You want the I understand your kids are gone. They've gone off, started their own lives. 
I mean, what went wrong? What happened? I guess I was just being selfish. I'm out of here. Come on, get out of your car. Uh, we're done here, man. You want some pizza? There you go, have some pizza. I just, I was tired of being alone all the time. You couldn't just be, matter of fact, just be down to the point, just be like, listen, it's coming to the point where like, I'm about to make a stupid decision or anything like that. I just didn't think about it. Wait, wait, talk to me, please. Just, just talk to me. Please wait, You destroyed our marriage. Me. Peace out. Good luck, Ryan. Thank you. Tell me what I need to do. You can't make this right. How can you make this right? I don't know. Just tell me anything. Anything you want me to do, I'll make it right. Just, just tell me. I don't want to throw away our marriage. You've already no. thrown away our marriage by being with this man. He's a pizza delivery man. I think we should probably get you out of here for a minute. Yeah. And uh, let you chill out. As far as for you, Mary, this is Tom's house. You know, I'm sure he- no, This is our house. I understand it's your house, this but- This is our house. No, I pay for it. We, we raise our family here. This is our house. I understand I'm, this I'm is the one that pays your for house, it. but at the same time, this gentleman right here is gonna come with me and he'll probably be back later to wanna have a few words with you, but do you have anything to say to him at all? I'm just, I'm so sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. I'm so sorry. It's ridiculous. Right, I hope this affects uh, your future choices and uh, good luck. <laughs> Let's load up, let's go. You, you all right? No, man. Can y'all go, please, please? I just, I need to be alone. I just, I, I'm done. Just please leave my house. Please go, go. After the disturbing...